Laid back, Mickey here, and today we are gonna go over a question that I get asked all the time. What pedals do I get, and what pedals are the safest? Hey, stay tuned at the end of this video to see how these pedals look on a trike. Let's go over what most trikes come with. They come with a standard pedal. Now this pedal, hey, it has a little grippiness on it, but you know what? Like a bike you're sitting down on or you're standing up on the pedals and you're squishing, so there's a lot of pressure on the pedals. But on a trike, your feet are out there like this and know what could happen? They could slip off the pedal and you could roll over your ankle and that's a bad idea. So let's go over some safe options. So the least safe is just a standard pedal. You want something more than that. Let's go over to maybe the most popular option. It's going with a shoe that has a cleat that mounts to the bottom that clips into a pedal. And so those are called clip-ins. And clip-in pedals are actually very, very safe. They're probably the safest that you can get and People go, can I walk into like a Starbucks or something? And yes, if you get a shoe where the cleat is recessed, then it's easy to clip in. And when you unclip, you walk like a normal shoe and you could go into different stores or restaurants and you don't have to worry about the click, 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 click. People go, well, once I get in, will I fall over? Well, you're on three wheels, so you're stable. You don't have to worry about falling over like on a bike. On a bike, like some people can't get out and they go, ah, and they tip over. Not super fun, but on a trike, you're on three wheels, so you come to a stop, you don't have to unclick. When you're clicked in, all you have to do is twist left or right to get out. And you just go click and it pops out. Super easy to use. So that's the shoe option. That's the safest way to go shoe and pedal. Now, another option to go is a strap-in. So you can go with a strap-in, and then on the strap, your heel comes in here. So we take the shoe, and it just goes like that and it holds your foot in like that. What you wanna know is that you can buy these different adapters from TerraTrike, right? These heel straps right here, and they don't go on all pedal. They'll go on the factory TerraTrike pedal. They'll go on many pedals, but there's some pedals that they don't. So you wanna make sure that you have a place where the bolts will go into the pedal on the back. Now, on this here, I can't mount this strap onto this type of pedal. Wouldn't need to because it has click in, but you gotta be aware that the straps only go on certain pedals. When you go to your trike store, you can say, hey, I want straps with pedals, not just the straps. So that's another option. So the two popular, most popular options are the click in option and then the strap option where it's the heel strap goes around your ankle. So the reason why somebody would choose a heel strap over a click-in is maybe they are still scared of this. But you know what? 99% of the people that are scared of this, once they try it, they end up loving it. It only takes a few tries to get used to it. But also, you got this heel strap here that you could adjust and maybe you got like a size 14 foot, right? And so we can make it really big. Or maybe, you got like a size eight or seven foot and you can make it really small. So these are very adjustable. And then these here, you can get different shoe sizes. If you want a wide shoe, Keen makes a really good wide shoe. CD, S-I-D-I makes a great wide shoe. So there's some shoes out there that are for people that have wide feet. So you want to check into that. I would say these are a popular item, but these are the number one selling item and the safest. So people go, well, you know what? My foot has an angle to it and so when I pedal, it clips out. Or maybe I have a lot of neuropathy and I can't easily find my footing on anything. Well, you may wanna go into a platform pedal. The platform pedals are nice because they're huge. You could just put your foot on it. So just put your shoe on here. And then you have a strap that is right here. It's Velcro, let's unvelcro this. Take your foot, put it in here. Boom, holds it in. You got this heel support so it doesn't come out. This here has a counterbalance weight so that it will, well, without the shoe in there, it will balance itself. And that makes it so it's easy to get in every time. Let's go ahead and see how this works here. Boom, like that, balances. This is more what we call adaptive. So if somebody has like neuropathy or a foot or leg issue that they don't want to use click in or they don't want to use heel straps, this is gonna be safer. It's gonna uh, help most people that can't use a regular pedal. So this is a great option. Now there's another option, and this is a platform pedal. It's similar to this, but it's just a different type. 
It's not my favorite because where the pedal goes is up towards the front. And this one you notice is more in the middle. And so I like on a trike for my foot to be more in the middle or back further. And that kind of, kind of comes back to the click-in pedals. On the click-in pedals, they have where you put your cleat here. Don't have your pedal be up front. Have it be more towards the middle or back of where the, the cleat mount. That way you don't get any you know, pressure points on the nerves on, on the ball of your foot and it's a lot more comfortable. Okay, so now let's go ahead and I wanna show you how to use clip-ins. Now these clip-ins are Shimano clip-ins. I like to use Shimano because they're just so much easier. They're a nice pedal, they're easy to click in and out. In fact, if you use Shimano clicker technology, they have a little bit more float, which is a little bit more comfortable. I like the pedals that have one side grippy, so if you're using a regular tennis shoe to go around the block, or if you're going on your normal ride to use the clip-in. On the bottom of my foot are my clip-ins. You're starting with your pedal up high, and then you go ahead, you, you kind of glide it in, and, you just, and it snaps in, just like that. And so now this one here is clicked in, and your foot's not gonna fall. It's just, it's gonna be always in the perfect position. Now I'm gonna do my other foot here. I'm gonna find it, I'm gonna glide it forward, and then you're gonna click in. And you'll hear it click, and then once it clicks, your foot won't fall, and then you could get the pedal stroke perfect every time. Now if you want out, you just go ahead, you twist your foot left or right fast, like this, boom, that, boom. See how it worked? Simple, easy, this is my favorite way to go, shoes and pedal. Okay, so now I'm gonna demonstrate how to use the heel straps. So the first thing is we're gonna, the heel straps are gonna be facing back and then up. So I usually do one foot, one foot first, and then you just wanna make sure that when you get it in there that it's right below your, you know, below your heel there. And then now it's, it won't fall down. And then you do the other one, get that one in there. And now that'll prevent your heel from easily slipping. And that works pretty good. And then to get out, you just go ahead, lift your foot, out, lift your foot, out, and that's how it works. Okay, so I wanna show you the platform pedal. The platform pedal is a great adaptive pedal if you have neuropathy or if other pedals are just not working well to hold your feet on there. So let's go ahead and check it out. You usually have two straps. You have a toe strap, and then you also have an ankle strap. Most people don't use the ankle strap. It's just one more way to secure your foot to the pedal. So in this case here, you loosen it up. You go ahead, put your foot in there, let it rest, and then go ahead. They got a little holder on here. Just pull it and strap it. Now you wanna move this around here so that you get a good spot for the second pedal. Go ahead, open that strap up. You could actually take it all the way out if you want. And then put your foot here, make sure it rests all the way in, grab your strap, hook it through here, pull. And then now you have a nice secure pedal. The cool thing is when we come to a stop at a stoplight, we don't have to get out of our trike. So you could stay strapped in there. Also, if you want, you could actually grab your wheel or your spokes and go backwards or go forwards and manipulate your trike a little bit without ever having to get out of the pedals. To get out, you just go ahead, unstrap, take your foot, be done. I usually go ahead and grab the strap here, put it back around. And these are platform pedals. Simple, easy to use, and they're great for an adaptive pedal. Okay, so the fact of the matter is, you know, as we get a little older, we get a little more tired, maybe we're not paying attention as much. When we're pedaling, if we actually are going downhill, maybe come to a fast stop, and our foot runs, falls down, we could actually run over our ankle. We don't wanna run over our ankle. That's why, rather than just using regular pedals, right, that your feet can slip off of, we use those heel straps, super easy to use. They protect your foot from falling down. Or the one that I love, which is the clip-in pedals, that your shoe has a little cleat on it, and they just click on super easy, and then you just twist off, and there is perfect. I wouldn't just use the regular pedals. Use something with a safety strap on it. Those are the five different pedal options. Which one do you use? Let us know in the comments below. And if you wanna pick up any of these pedals, go ahead and click on the link in the description.